Hi guys, Tuva here. It is Saturday today and I want you to all think about what do you do with all those energies that you store up over the week? You know the energies I'm talking about. It's the ones that are, let's say, detrimental to your character. No guys, seriously, every week, every day of the week, we all absorb these energies, these energies that fester inside and where do they go? What do you do with them? Do you think that when something happens to you on say day one Monday, maybe at work or within the family, do you think those energies that may be a little bit upsetting or negative dissipate and go away at the end of the day when you go to bed and sleep. Well, I can tell you now, guys, they don't. They really don't. And can you imagine if you was to fill your bin up every single day and put all the rubbish, the nasty things into it, what would happen on day seven? It would be filled up to the brim it would be smelly and horrible the food in there would be decomposing and it wouldn't be pleasant now you imagine that you've done that for seven days and then another seven days is put on top of that and so on and so on what do you think happens then what happens when your bin overfills it starts to sink in to the surrounding area and causes grief. For example, contaminated food would sink into your carpet tiles and what would happen? Mould would grow or it would really stain it and be horrible. If it was grease, it would melt right into it and it would destroy what would happen if that rubbish took over the whole of your kitchen? It would affect your eating habits because you wouldn't be able to use your kitchen to prepare food. Looking at it logically in that way makes you think, hey, so what do I do with all this stuff then? Well, in the real world, if it was your bin, the first thing you would do is start to clear up around that bin. Get rid of all the muck and the horrible bits. Clean around it, clean the carpet or the tiles. Fix the things that have been damaged by it. And then get rid of what's actually in that bin. Take it away, get rid of it. Clean the bin and get it ready for the next onslaught. In other words, put a fresh bin bag in it and put the lid on. You then have your kitchen back. You then have your living area. You can then eat again. You can then feel great in yourself because if everything's clean around you, it makes you feel better, doesn't it? So guys, I wanted to talk today about this because there are ways to get rid of this type of energy and today I'm going to show you how. Now on the altar today, all I have really is some flowers, the uh, altar cloth, and the altar cloth has got runes on it and I've got Bacana on the top here, which is very apt. A candle, showing the light, showing the way, showing the path. Incense, again, rose for love, love of yourself, because when you're cleansing yourself, you are loving yourself. You're doing things that's beneficial to yourself. And then I have this, my peers to resistance. A little pot. Yep, it's just a little pot, guys. And you might wonder, what are you going to put in it? Well, believe it or not, all I'm gonna do is put these energies that we don't want into that pot. Now you can do this once a week, at the end of the week is probably best. We're going to do our washing. 
<laughs> you say pardon <laughs> well it's a type of washing guys because that's the only thing that's going to clean you isn't it I and mean, i don't mean get soap i don't mean get water what i mean is we need to get ourselves into the right state of mind and then we go inside and we're going to bring out those energies and then we're going to take it to your jar and you might think am i going to get all that in that little jar well energy is slightly different to rubbish <laughs> energies can come in very small packages but do a lot of damage now this isn't like a meditation guys this is feeling so you're not going to be doing a meditation but what you do want to do is home in and what I mean by homing in is to find that first piece of rubbish and to do that you need to think back to Monday yep Monday wasn't that far away while you think about Monday. What happened on Monday? Was it a good day? Was it frustrating? Was it arguments? Now we're in that frame of mind. We don't need the drum anymore. Now to help you on this, I'm going to use my witch's runes. And the reason for this, guys, is because there is a way of tapping in to your forgotten issues and memories. So while you hold them, you think about Monday. So just close your eyes and think Monday. Monday, what happened Monday? Please remind me what happened Monday. And you just pick a stone. Now I'm going to pick a stone. And it is the crossroads. And that is all about the decisions that you made that day you make the wrong decision, one that come back and annoyed you and made you upset. It's a possibility, isn't it? So you don't have to dwell on it, but what you need to do is take that stone and hold it in your hand. And I want you to think about letting anything that might have happened on Monday go into the stone that energy you feel is in here because you've got to visualize it going into the stone just think about hands and think about the stone and then think about it merging and there you go it's in there so you get your little pot take the lid off and you say get rid of this energy today and you put it in and shut the lid okay now we go to the next one we're on tuesday now think about tuesday guys holding the runes what do you think may have happened on tuesday now you may have a good day here and there where something good happened and you don't want to lose that so you're going to retain that energy so if tuesday was a good day I accept the energy that I received on Tuesday and I will use it to the greater purpose. Okay guys, now we're on to Wednesday, what happened? Maybe there was an argument or maybe it was just one of those days where everybody was irritable with each other in the family or maybe something went wrong, like something you bought was broken or just think about that for a second or maybe a friendship broke or your relationship broke you could have an energy which is very powerful and has taken over all your week so you need to think about it and then what you do is you take another room and you look at it okay harvest you see these do work out harvest is what you've sown what you've reaped so whatever the situation was you need to now reap it out of you and put it into the stone so think about it, think about the problem, think about the stone and see them merge together. And 
once that's happened, you then get the pot, open the lid and stick the room in. Shut the lid and you say, I get rid of this energy from Wednesday into my purification pot and you put it in. So now we're on to Thursday. Now what happened on Thursday, guys? Holding on to your runes. Think about Thursday. Was there a repercussion from the Wednesday? Did something else happen? Or was it just one of those days where you was depressed? Well, energy of depression can also have an effect on you. So take a rune if it's depression. Take a rune. And this rune for me Oh, it's the female. That's me. That's how I was feeling, the insides of me. And you don't want to be feeling like that, do you? So you think about this and you hold it and you think about how you felt. And then you stick that energy, see it merge, all those feelings merging into this stone, holding it tightly. Get rid of those energies into this stone. And then you get your pot open the lid and you say, I get rid of this energy into my purification pot. Okay. Okay guys, and now we're on to Friday. Now was Friday a good day? Or did something happen? Think about it. Maybe it was a financial issue on Friday. Maybe you had a bill that you couldn't afford to pay or something come up that you wasn't expecting. So again, we pick a rune. And I just love the way these runes seem to clarify what went on. Again, so now, movement, yes. So you had all things going on at one go and that movement was very, very annoying to say the least. So we hold that in our hand. We put our other hand on it and we think about all those emotions that you had that day and you filter it in. You think about it, you think about the stone and you merge them together. And once they're merged, you take that stone with all those energies in and you go, I don't want you. In you go, into my purification pot. All right. And now we're on Saturday, the Saturday. Was Saturday a good day or was it not so good? Maybe you had something planned and it fell through or maybe you just felt you didn't want to do the things that you had to do. Maybe you was tired from the long week at work. Maybe you just felt out of sorts. So we take a room. It's the sun, that means you're needing energy. Now, because of this, it's different. It's not a negative energy, is it? It's something that you need for the Saturday. You need the energy to get on with things. So you thank that energy. You hold it in your hand and you say, thank you for the energy that, that's gonna help me to get through what I need to be doing. And you put it back. Okay, so we're on Sunday now, guys. Sunday. Has anything happened on the Sunday? Because this will be the day that you're doing it. Is it a good day? Is it a bad day? Do you feel like you're overwhelmed with something? Then take a stun. And read it. And it is flight movement again. Flight means to move on from something or to journey forwards. So maybe that you've got plans for the next day and you've got a lot of work to do to sort out things for the next day. And this room is here and it's telling you, yes, you've got a lot on your mind and you've really got to get on with what you need to do. But there's negativity within that because it's something you're not really keen on doing. It might be a stop take at work or it might be that you've got a hospital appointment or something you're not looking forward to. And so this rune is still a type of negative energy. And so we hold it in our hand, we think about what's going to happen, we put it in your hand and you think about it and you put it into that room and you say, I'm not having any more of this. And then you get your pot and you go, 
in you go, out with the energy, I don't want it. You put your lid on. All those things are in that jar. You're still open. So what we're gonna do is we're going to infilter some cosmic energy to fill you up with joy. So what I want you to do is to close your eyes, look into the cosmos area, try to think about the Milky Way, the pinpoint of light, and you're going to ask that energy to come fill you up. So we're gonna say, higher energy, cosmos energy, energy of the gods and the goddesses, I seek you to come fill me up now with your cosmic rays of healing and energy. Now you visualize that light coming towards you at a very fast pace because you are going to get flushed through, guys, and you're going to feel it. It's going to enter the top of your head and go all the way through your body, all the way down and go through your feet into the earth and it will come in waves. So we're going to watch that light come and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it gets near your head, you feel it absorb in and it's there like cold water flushing down through you, all the way through, all the way through, down through your feet into the earth and you can feel it. And it's like an energy bolt coming in waves and it's there and you feel filled up with this beautiful energy and you have the cosmic flush and you feel great and you see that light going back now and you have retained that beautiful energy and you look at that jar guys and you don't want nothing to do with it so we're going to put it under the moon, yeah. So put it on your window ledge and forget about it because it doesn't need thinking about. And when the moon is shining on it, because we are in a waning moon, we are in a waning moon, which is Aquarius, it's air. It will waft away. That energy will be gone in a puff of air because we're gonna ignore it. It's gonna just filter away under those rays, those waning rays, because when the moon is waning, it gets rid of stuff. You put it on your window ledge. If you haven't got a window ledge, and you've got somewhere safe you can put it outdoors, even better, stick them out there underneath those rays of the moon, and then in the morning, you take it back and you put the runes, they'll be cleansed, put them back in your bag and they'll be ready to be used. So take those runes, all your runes and your cards and put them on the window ledge under the moon and you'll have a whole cleansed pack of runes again. Okay guys, well I hope you've enjoyed this because it's something different but something that's good to do and it will help you to get balanced. I use that word all the time I know. Write it all down in your journals because when you look back you will see how far you have come, how your moods have got better, everything seems to get better and it's all because you spend that little bit of time on yourself and it's called self-worth, self-work, finding out all about you and there you go I just want to thank any new subscribers to the channel welcome and I hope you enjoy the content on here to all those that are always here for me I give you much love from me to you and thank you so much and if you're thinking about subscribing guys I would appreciate it for it does help the channel but also you'll get notified when I'm uploading because at the moment I am doing daily rune readings and that might be helpful to you. They're very quick readings but ones that might help you in your day to day life. So I'm going to leave it there wherever you are, whatever time of day, night or evening it might be. I wish you the best ever. House of Lang. <laughs>